so welcome to today's video lesson we are going to be doing exercise one today and we would start with the easiest and end with the hardest so you have to take notes now this lesson is on line work so you will learn to experience thick lines and thin lines all the type of lines the hidden lines and all other lines that will be used in this topic so we would actually start with B, then we move on to E, F, move on to C, D, and then we end with A. So for this, I would be using A4 sheets. This is what I'll be using because of the limited size of my drawing board. I'll be using A4 sheets, but you are instructed to use A2. And I would be drawing one per sheet. I'll draw one per sheet. Take note, I'll use one per sheet. But you would have to fit all or as many as possible on the sheet. You must know how to manage your sheet. But I'll be using one per sheet. So it will be a lesson after a lesson. So one lesson will be one of the items on a sheet. Then I will change the sheet to give you another lesson. So you can have breaks in them. Okay. So for this one, it says... It's a, it's a square object or a rectangular object and you have to draw this. Now, if you check, the distance between here and here is 20. And we have to know, in order to draw this, you should know the overall dimensions so that you can create your square or rectangle depending on the dimensions, which I believe this is actually a square. So, you would know your overall dimensions before. Now, if you check here, you see that this is... 20 and you have one two three four five six six divisions so that means 20 times six will give you the overall dimension of what 60 because if you do another 20 there's now 40 sorry <laughs> 120 not 60 120 this is 40 another 20 that's 60 another 20 that's 80 another 20 that's 100 another 20 that's what 120 over here or you can also use this you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 divisions. 12 times 10 is what? 120. So you take 120 and since it is a square, it looks like a square, you assume that, okay, this is a square. So this is 120 by 120. Now, take note that I'll be using a wooden T-square. So I would not use this for measurement. I do not have any... Um, graduations on it but yours has one so kindly note that instead of you doing it like I do you can automatically or just manually mark it out now to test we are going to use two types of lines so I'm going to draw a thin line which I believe you cannot really see well so I would use thick lines to represent my thin lines and when I am done I would use a marker to show that this is a thick line and all other lines should be thin okay so i'm going to start by drawing out my 120 by 120 i've already set out my my t square i've set everything i've set the paper i'm not using a title block and border lines because this is just a tutorial for you to be able to do so i'm going to draw my thin line in quotes just so that you can see this is a thin line a thick line i'll show you later and I'll be using the smaller instruments. I don't have the bigger set of instruments here. So I will take any of my set squares, either 30, um, 30, 60, or 45s. And then I would use them to get to be e to be able to easily draw um vertical lines which are um perpendicular or they are 90 degrees to this horizontal line here. So you place it on top, make sure that your T-square is not moving. You place it on top. Sorry, the camera will keep focusing every time I move. Then I will draw up. Now, make, take note that these are thin lines. Okay, these are thin lines. They are not thick lines. But because you might not be able to see, I'm using thick lines in general to represent them. Then I'm going to take my rule and then I would measure 120. That will be 12 centimeters. Take note that your work is in millimeters. 120 by another 120. So that means I need to actually increase the length of this. So if I'm increasing, I still use the same method. 
so that I get the line. Thank you. This should also be one thing. Then I just mark it out. Then I move my T square to the top. I rule. Then I move this here. And then I draw. So then automatically I do not need to measure 120 here, 120 here, 120 here. Because I know that anytime I do an orientation like this, this is 90. And this will always give me a horizontal line. So when they cross out, you realize that this should be 120 exactly as you can see. And this is also 120. Sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. It's 120. Okay, exactly. Thank you. So we now continue. So we have done that. Then the next point is we are to divide this into two parts. So I take my rule. I stand across. Okay, the rule is quite short. So pardon me, I would use the T-square, but you should not do this. I'll try and get a long rule later for the subsequent ones. So I would use my T-square. Make sure you use your rule. Stand, make sure you have both points then you draw your line across okay so now you have this then there is also a line that goes across but take note that that line you see this is why you shouldn't use your t-square because you would have to be rotating the board you are not supposed to be doing that but just so I can get a long rule I'll get a long rule data so that we can use now you realize that the other line goes also across that is this line um sorry this line this line it's supposed to go across and if you put your rule on it you realize it's supposed to go across to the other corner but for the sake of um the drawing it's it is terminated here so if you are wondering how to draw that it's supposed to go across so you make sure you have both points here and here then you draw across all right so then we now move on to the divisions you have 120 20 20 20 so you step 20 just mark 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 and mark all right then what you are going to do is you are going to stand at each corner and then this was represented by broken lines please make sure that your broken lines are kind of even they should be at as much as possible try to make them look alike move on to the next one next one and the last one Okay, so we have been able to draw these lines. Now we need to be able to draw these lines. Now, if you watch carefully, this maps onto this, as you can see. And this line, you see, it maps onto this. So if you extend, you realize that these lines are supposed to extend to the 20 points. 
you get it they're supposed to extend to the 20 points but they are terminated at this line so all what you do is you take your point to 20 make sure you are here and here and then you just draw and you end take your next point to 20 you are here you are here and then you just draw next point to 20 you are here and it's exactly there you draw next point to 20 here here and you draw next point to 20 yeah yeah and then you draw so you realize you've been able to do the first one these are these ones then you move on to the next one now for this one if you trace this point up you realize this is a vertical line it goes straight up and when you trace this this also goes to that same point then this goes to a point in between this goes to a point a bit in between so you have them to be curved right they are more or less um, being channeled towards a center or the nearest vertical line so now you don't measure this way you know this is 120 so automatically you would have to divide this before you can draw because to draw a straight line you need two points so make sure you have two points before you draw do not go ahead and draw straight away yes so i have the first demarcation then i would move ahead to divide this into 10 points so Okay, so now we are moving on to the next one. So we slant this towards this line. And then we draw. Then you slant this one also towards this line. Then you draw. So we have the first two. Then you slant this towards the next point here. Then you draw. Then the next point here. Then you draw. So you are going to do that till you get to the end. To the next point you draw then this will actually map onto the original point you draw then this moves to the next one after it you draw then you go to the other side to move to the next point this maps onto this and you realize that even the distance between them is 10 okay so you draw then the distance between these two 10 you draw distance between these two 10 you draw so now assuming that we have all our thick line thin lines to be this pencil this is our thick line okay you are not to use markers you have to use your thick and thin pencils but i don't if i use thick and thick then you might not see the work okay and i don't want it to look like magic so this is your thin that's what i've worked so i've worked with thin lines i'm now coming to thicken it out so if you look at the drawing, you realize that this is thick, this is thick, this is thick. The rest are all thick. These lines here are thin chain lines. So please make sure that they remain thin. So I would stand. Let me use the part where, where it has the edges. And then I would draw. And then draw. Draw. 
draw. I'll draw. Okay, so ignoring all the bullet points that you have, this is how it should look like. So you can clearly distinguish thick and thin lines. So this is for B. So you can neatly write B under it and that's the end. Alright, thank you.